So our boy Marcus has decided to spend some quality time with Detective Decker. Now that's some bullshit. So we're gonna see what happens in this episode, man. What the hell? Well, you wanna take a break and buy me a drink? Not really, no. He said, hell no. Nah. <laughs> but what the hell is this? Is this, are we in the 50s? This is like an old ass time period we in. Oh yeah? Cause somebody already stole your heart? It's just not in the cards for me. We gotta go, detective. Yeah, this old as hell. I didn't know we was gonna get a period piece today. 1958. We're just founding Woo! I know my history, boy. I told you it was the 50s, man. That was quite the concert. Yes, I can't remember the last time I went to a show that was so, uh... Loud. So loud. I still can't hear anything. Damn, totally is that a good loud. thing or a bad thing? I had a really great time. So when can we do it again? Um... Maybe dinner? I mean, I love... Man, Clark is acting like he's talking to Lois Lane right now. Weren't you saying that you didn't want... Hey, Chloe, I just wanted to, uh... I'm sorry. Oh, that's not I mean it at all. My bad. What would I like? Sometimes the answer to that is not so simple. Who are you talking I mean, to? I would like to know what my father's next test is. I feel pretty confident that I passed the last one, but... His ass is probably talking to himself. What am I supposed to do in between? In itself, a test. Okay. <laughs> How about a large mocha with extra... Wow. This isn't a man of Dale's first time seeing Charlotte, right? I can't remember. Mom! Mom! Oh, maybe it isn't. I'm sorry. Do I know you? <sighs> Bro, this is so freaking crazy. Amanda Dale has no idea. That's insane. I wonder how Charlotte Richard is going to take that. She's going to be like, what the hell? She's probably going to want to know, like, information about those times that she doesn't remember. I thought you were someone else. No, wait. You know Lucifer. But I have to go. Detective. One thing we do know, the man misses his mommy. You and I are partners, detective, and nothing can come between that. Prepare yourselves, people. Yes. <laughs> he literally came between that shit. Different kind of case. <laughs> Meet Robbie Matthews and Rachel White. Looks like they were drugged unconscious, and then someone literally smashed their chest in. Damn. Sternum. Okay, monkey. You grab the backpack, I'll grab the brownies. Mays, are you home? There's a man in my bed. What the what hell? Smell? What the <gasps> hell happened here? Seriously, what were you thinking letting a drunken rocker sleep in Trixie's bed? It's a big deal. The big deal, Maze, is that you live with a nine-year-old. Are you going through something lately? Other than the band, no. Yo, I'm Isn't... with Dan on this one, bro. She wilding out right now, fam. You know, there are some things I can tell Chloe, too. Like what? Like... We killed the guy? Remember when we had a guy killed? Look, I just don't understand why is she bringing that up? I'm like, what? There's no, there's no correlation there. <laughs> you know, you got all these randoms in the house. But I guess that is a leverage if you think about it. So, I, I, again, she's bullshitting, bro. I don't know what's going on with you right now. Figure it out. She's deflecting heavy. And I don't understand why you're trying to spend time with her anyway. I'm sorry if I upset you. I didn't think you two were a thing. We're partners. If that's all it is, then you've got nothing to worry about, do you? <laughs> Lucifer, right. just tell him, like, yo, that's my woman. Back, back. Before I whoop your ass. Four months ago, your husband reported that you slashed his tires and threatening him with a bat. Jesus. Look, I'm not proud of what happened. I'm sure you're not. But I and what else are you supposed to do when some parasite inserts himself into your relationship? <laughs> Shots what? fired. I think we can't take Emma's word at face value. We don't have to. Another couple was just found dead holding hands. This I'm is sorry, that's end. not funny. <laughs> just the way I said this it. This isn't just a lover's quarrel. <laughs> I'm working on trying to find the guy who kills cheating couples. The broken hearts killer? It's, it's like I'm looking for clues that don't exist. That's crazy how it's almost like history is repeating itself. Hi. Oh, man, is going to be like, yo, have you talked to Charlotte Richards? And how are you coping with talking to this woman after she tried to kill your ass? Obviously, it wasn't her, but you know what I mean. Exactly speaking right now, but there's something that I need to tell you. Okay. Oh, you late, fam. You late as hell. You know, she's not mom anymore. Wow. 
it's really kind of you to come all the way over here to tell me that. I mean, especially. She's like, it's very kind of you for your ass to walk all the way to my office to tell me some old shit. You knew, didn't you? Hell yeah. Maybe I had the right to know that she was alive. I assumed you knew. Should I assume he knew too? I totally forgot a man didn't know. Time. What are you asking me in a deal? I think that maybe she deserves to know the truth. Nah, she, she can't handle the truth. And like, can I help you? Okay. What the hell is going on? That's the Chaos same girl. Possible. I get it. I look just like my grandmother, but Gee, you look just like your grandma. Your grandma. You knew her back in the day? How old were you? Like two? I'm older than I look. He old as hell. Well, you have no idea. Older than he would sit in that booth right there with his old files while Nana worked. Where's Ray these days? Forest Lawn Cemetery. I'm sorry, that is not funny either. <laughs> in other words, his ass is dead. Looking for Twisted Ferret, they've got a gig in Bakersfield. Is this gig still the best gig in town? I want to okay, find out what that gig is talking about. It's not a joke, Mays. Things like this cannot happen. Or what? Douche. Oh, we're back to that douche shit. If you can't keep pulling stunts like this. I'll move out. Since none of you want me here anyway. And I am sick of your goody two-shoes ex-wife and that stupid little brat of yours anyway. You don't mean that. Cut it out. Wow. Way to go, Maze. To wrapping up your latest case. Maybe you can take me on a real date instead of just pie and drinks here. That's crazy how Pierce was talking to old girl's grandma back in the day. Damn. But it looked like he ain't do nothing with it. His ass fumbled the bag, bro. Um, I'm transferring out of state. Transferring. There you go. That's what happened. But you know what the sad truth is? If you don't learn to open up, nobody will ever love you. Damn. Welcome to my humble abode. You have a rock collection? Well, the thing about rocks is they're old. I've taken one from all the places I've visited. You've been a lot of places, huh? Yeah, I know he's I old as hell. I wanted to ask you something. Okay. How did you move on from the detective when I showed up and replaced you? <laughs> and <please. laughs> when you put it like that. <laughs> Lucifer Morningstar is Mr. Steel, your girl. You didn't replace me. Well, true, true. I suppose that would imply we're on the same level. Definitely not on the same level. Look. Um, Marcus, maybe we shouldn't do this. No, no, no. I mean you and me. Bro, you asked me out first, Edgar. <laughs> I did. And you turned me down. That is I true. I disappointed. I, I need somebody who can let me in, and I just don't know if that's you. Damn, she's very forthcoming. I appreciate that. Hello, shadowy figure. Here to spoil the date. <laughs> You're the killer. Killer? What? What are you talking about? Dude, I'm here for the show. I, look, I'm trying to be a producer, man. The killer could be listening to those tapes. Could be anyone. Maybe I should have waited until after dinner. No, oh, you're right. I do have walls up. I've had them up for a long, long time. Shit, since when I 58? Feel like someone's getting past them. <laughs> Chloe? You all right? Oh, shit. <sighs> that gas. Don't, don't, don't you get it? I, 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 I did this for you. It's these two, they, 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 they betrayed you. Can't even talk. Enough Stop stuttering. This. You don't get to decide who someone wants to be with, and neither do I. You're, you're not, you're not gonna kill me. Praise God. Detect I've got to wake up for Charlotte. You think she can't see your black ass, bro? <laughs> you are following me. You don't understand what it's like not remembering what you did. How do we know each other? You were my mom. Maddie just said, forget about what Linda said. I'm telling her everything. That just made things a lot more interesting and complex, bro. Okay, I thought that Mace was going to be here watching Trixie. She said mean thing to me, and then she go. She take her knives and she move out. That's right. All this happened without Chloe knowing anything. Because I've realized that there's room in your life for all sorts of relationships. If one of them is with 
than him. Damn, this love triangle is crazy as hell. Someone special, I assume? Yes, she is. She's the key to finally getting what I've always wanted. Man, why they keep teasing us like this? Damn, this is a long season. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed this episode. This episode was very well written. I like the themes in it. I like the main theme in it. Very interested that we went back to the 50s and seeing how the 50s connects with Tom Welling's journey up until this point and how he views relationships. Maze is on that bullshit. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on with Maze, bro. It's almost annoying, I should say. I'm not pissed off, but if she keeps doing this, we're gonna have a problem. I really like the fact that Amanda Dale said, forget about what Linda's talking about. I need to tell Charlotte Richards what went on during the time that she doesn't remember. And he flat out said like, yo, you was my mama. I'm black as hell. It don't make no sense, but you was my mama. So just to see how she's going to cope with that going forward is what I'm really looking forward to also. Going back to May, she's on her own shit. We saw Trixie upset because Mays flat out said that Trixie was like annoying or something. Obviously we know she didn't mean it. She was just deflecting. But I mean, you gotta get over that Linda stuff, bro. I feel like we really made that a big deal when it really didn't need to be a big deal. A situation like that is nuanced. It's layered. It's not, uh, it's not black and white. You know what I mean? And I think she's approaching it that way. It's like, you either my friend or you're not type shit. It's whack. It's really whack to me. But, you know, we'll see what happens. I really appreciate how we got a serious Dan. Like, Dan really told Mays, like, yo, dog, you can't have these people around my daughter, man. And then, obviously, Mays tried to bring up that bullshit, like, yo, you killed a man. We killed a man. He's going to keep using that as leverage. And it's like, damn, bro. And that happened so long ago. I thought we was over that shit. But we're not, you know. <laughs> we're not, clearly. Listen, honest to God, I really don't know what's going to happen because... I don't get a sense of a villain right now. Like, okay, then Marcus is the villain, but now it's like, I see no villain qualities in him. That's how much he has grown as a character in this show. I'm like, who the hell is the villain? It's not Amanda Dill. Maze? Is Maze the main villain? I mean, okay. I mean, yeah, she's going AWOL right now with Linda and Amanda Dill, but it, there's not, it can't be her. It just can't be. There's not enough meat on the bone for her to just turn it to Darth Sidious or some shit like that. <laughs> That's my reaction. Like, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And we'll be back with more Lucifer reactions. We got to finish season three. It's been too damn long. Too damn long. I started this season last year and we're still on it. That has to change. We're going to be on season four very shortly. I'll see you guys then. Peace out.